Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Sanforia and we want to get on the nature trail and as you can see we have a very lovely Terry behind us. Now I have already recorded this video so this one may be a little shorter because it again corrupted. I need to figure out what the hell in the world is going on with this stupid thing. Um, so this video may be a bit shorter than usual because I kind of have already done it once. Um, but here we go. We have moved Terry. He lives in here. I gave him a name tag so he is now called Terry. Hello. Hello. I know. Um, like I said, we're going to have to keep an eye on him in here because um, before I moved him, it popped up saying that the where he was, he was didn't have any room to grow. So he's going to get bigger, which is crazy because he's huge anyway. Um, and I need to keep an eye on just to make sure that these walls are still big enough to keep him in but it's a lovely big exhibit at the moment he's on stay just because i want to see how big he's gonna get kind of thing before i let him move um but yeah he's happy in there the brackies are still not growing so i still need to look at what's going on with that but let's go and sleep and then i will show you again what i've already recorded because if you've noticed it's a lot quieter in here now and i got a new bed i finished doing i, I changed my bed it's now purple um with i use white wool <coughs> oh pardon me on the bed frame and purple so it looks really cute but as you can see downstairs it's a lot quieter than it normally is um hmm suspiciously what what are all they doing outside why is this loads of chickens well i will tell you um in the episode that i recorded that i am unable to oh am i full that I am unable to upload um, I discussed putting up a chicken coop and needing one because there were so many chickens inside the house I thought I need a coop I want them to be free range outside but have somewhere to go if it rains and so I decided to build one so I started building it out of birch wood and then I paused the video so that I could continue building it and that's when it messed up so unfortunately I've had to start again but as you can see roaming around the garden we have lots of chickens now i have to keep an eye on this because obviously the dogs don't move how did you get up there oh the vines oh god damn it um the dogs don't move so they obviously don't trample the crops i'm i may have to just fence like this half of the garden off actually you know what let's do that because i'm worried they are going to trample stuff um but as you can see lots and lots of chickens and this is the chicken coop is it not the fanciest chicken coop you've ever seen so i originally did say in the video that you guys aren't gonna be able to see unfortunately i'm thinking about putting glass here so that they could see out but i think it looks really cute with the fence there instead um so if we go on inside i use carpenter's wedges like slopes and birch just to color them in and then they also have a little balcony why not and a little red top so it kind of looks a little bit like a dog house i guess with like the red roof but um i don't feel like it looks too much like a dog house that you wouldn't know it was a chicken coop i'm gonna put a sign on it i think saying like chicken coop or something but yeah that's what i built and i'm really happy with it i think it looks really cool and uh, it also means that like the chickens can roam around where they want to go i don't want to like keep them in there i didn't want them stuck in there i wanted them to be free range chickies but saying that i also i don't want them to uh be able to trample any of my my lovely crops so that's why we are gonna have to unfortunately how do i make a carpenter's fence okay two carpenter's blocks and sticks awesome um let's make two i don't want them to be able to trample my crops because that's just gonna be super annoying um so we'll go and put this across excuse me fluffy so just so then they've got like it'll probably go like here just so they've got you know they've still got then plenty of space to roam around it's just that they can't I need a leaf um they can't trample anything because that would be awful <laughs> let's do this one like this let's do it like that just to be sure so then they're kind of like kind of why are they all in the hedges that's a bit annoying i may have to change these hedges to something else because they're literally all trapped in them 
Okay. Oh well, at least they're not going to attack anything. Um, but yeah, so they. Oh, let's see what is this? Go, go and play. Oh, who knows? But yeah, so they're going to be in this end of the garden, but they're still going to be free range, and they can roam around in this area all they like. They've got all this space, and then when it rains. Oh, hello, little baby. Hello. They can hide out in here if they need to. So, um, yeah, I really like that idea. I don't know why they're stuck in the hedge. I don't know if it's because I've made it out of this hedge and they don't they don't seem to like it, do they? Come on, guys. Come on. In fact, I don't have it on me, do I? Do I? Have, oh, I do have it on me. Woohoo! Let's put this on. Hello, my pretties. There we go. That's better. Can you come in? Come on, I know you're not stuck. Let's wander up here and see if any of these guys want to come. Can you come in? Give him a little poke. Yeah, one's come out. So, yeah. So it seems like something to do with this hedge. They don't seem to like it, but... Or they get stuck in it. Maybe they like it too much. But um, it does mean that we've got lots of space. I have got more chickens than I had inside the house. <laughs> Before anybody asks. Yes, there are more. Um, I was letting... We had all those eggs. So I was letting eggs off and breeding the chickens that we had. Because you know, we had space to have more chickens. So that's what I've done. So I'm really pleased with it. Um, I think it looks really cute. Let's, let's pick some of these up. Might as well turn them into dye. Then we can go and put them away. Oop, that one. Awesome. So let's go and put these away. Boop. And yeah, so thankfully now inside the house is a lot quieter. Um, obviously, we do still have the... Uh, yes, you. The um, dodos, but they're not. They're not chickens weren't that much of a bother to be fair they were just annoying <laughs> sorry chickens i love you really um let's just, let's be really naughty and just put stuff anywhere <laughs> um what else do we have an arrow let's pop that in there and that bow um them away is that everything i've got this fur but i don't know where the rest of it is Ooh, dodo egg. thank you um, so we could also do something similar for the dodos so they can go outside. Um, probably not Tommy, he seems to like sitting in this chair, so that can be where he stays. But we could do something similar outside for the dodos. Um, they could just go out there with the chickens, to be fair. That might be quite good, then I can just leave the door open. Um, but I do want to build like a rabbit hutch as well for, um, for our little fluffy bunny. Um, so that's something else that we could do. I need a bigger garden. <laughs> I may have to extend the garden a bit more already. But that's where I'm going to leave this episode today. Um, it's just a short one because um, in the original episode for today I had shown me actually building the um, the chicken coop. And obviously we weren't able to do that today um, because I had to re-record it. But I hope you've really enjoyed this episode. Um, I'm looking forward to building some more exhibits for like our bunny rabbit. And hopefully getting another one. That would be pretty cool. And maybe something for our dodos so they don't have to live inside the house either. And then Queen Ruby can chill out a bit. Chill your beans! Instead of moaning at them for being messy. But I hope you really enjoyed this episode. I hope you all have a fabulous week. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys!